Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bibliophiles, our show on AADL TV, where we chat about one book topic each week. My name is Amanda, and with me is Lucy and Christopher. And this week, we are talking about books that involve travel, which is pretty fun because there are so many places you can go in a book. Christopher, what do you got for us? Well, like you said, there are so many, and I know I say that most episodes there are so many to pick from. This time I picked a book uh, by Bruce Chatwin. I know there's nothing to see here. It's called Anatomy of Restlessness. And before I talk about the book, I just wanna briefly mention a little bit about Bruce Chatwin. He's a pretty fascinating character. He was an art dealer and a writer and uh, traveled all over the world. Uh, when you read his his books, though, I wouldn't say he's necessarily the happiest person, which is a little bit different from a lot of other travel writers, I think, that uh, that might be out there. So this book is a collection of his essays, and it was published after he died. So it looks at a lot of different kind of incidental things that he had written, including some of his book reviews. And uh, Chatwin just layers his writing with references to art and history and literature and geography and so much. It really rewards um, kind of reading and thinking about all the things that he's, he's talking about in his books. Uh, some of the best pieces in here are, uh, one was all about the island of Capri, and he looks at the history of these three famous uh, villas there. Um, and he also talks a lot about nomadism and possessing things and traveling. He really takes a dim view of collecting things in his life. And I think partly that's a reaction to his experience as an art dealer. He, he, kind of borders on um, really wanting to get rid of all of his possessions and be in constant motion. So there are all different kinds of essays in here, but they all have this theme of movement and motion and journeys. So it's inspirational. It's not necessarily super uh, happy, which is an interesting thing to say about travel writing. So... <laughs> Lucy? Uh, that sounds really interesting, actually. Uh, just like something I'd love to read. Yeah. Um, the book that I chose is a new book that is um, in part by Anthony Bourdain and also Lori Woolliver, Woolliver, and it's called World Travel and a Reverend Guide. And this just came out, so it was published posthumously. posthumously and she, Lori and Anthony Bourdain got together in like 2017 and started talking about writing a travel guide. And they thought like, does the world really need another travel guide? You know, does the book industry need this? But um, she thought about all the places that Anthony Bourdain had gone in his life and would continue to go. Like he just traveled to some of the world's most fascinating places. And the impressions that he took away from these places are really one of the, the strengths that he like, conveys. He has this ability. I don't know if either of you have ever watched any of his TV shows like No Reservations or Parts Unknown, but he just has this way of, co of connecting with people on every level that tells a different story about where he's traveling. So they decided to just sort of go ahead with it. And they had one conversation about the book and then he went off and he was filming Parts Unknown and he ended up in France where he ended his life. So she had to then evaluate, do I still want to do this story? Wow. And um, she thought about how he had often referred to himself as a storyteller. And she thought, I'm going to go ahead and, and continue to tell his story. So the way that this guide works, it's really cool. Um, everything that is something that, I don't know if you can see it, Anthony Bourdain wrote is in blue, it's, is in blue writing. So if it's some of his writing or some of his impressions from his show, it's in blue. And then she has added in black, things like where to stay if you go here or try this restaurant. 
Um, and then it's peppered with essays from different people who knew him, who wrote about traveling with him. So there's a lot to read in it. And um, I think that she felt it was important to put this out because once he died, she realized like the scale of his cultural impact. I mean, he has such a good way of looking not only at the people in the place, but the deep history of the place. Like I just showed you a page from Brazil and he'll talk about this region and the fun and good things to do there. But then he goes back and talks about the history of slavery and how that developed the culture there. So he, you know, he has a section on Detroit in here. That's really interesting. Um, really interesting part was on Oman. Cause like, he's like, nobody even knows where this is on a map, but it's one of my favorite places that I ever traveled. So there are a lot of really interesting things in this book and you can kind of dive in and out. You could actually find restaurants and hotels to stay at things to see, but you also are just um, able to get a little bit of his voice. And if you were like me and you loved watching all his, I just love his shows and so I was just so happy to be able to hear from him again. So that is World Travel and a Reverend Guide by Anthony Bourdain and Laurie Wooliver. Sounds, Amanda. Yeah. That, that book sounds great. And I think too, it's a great time for that to be published. Mm -hmm. and it's been gone for a few years now. Um, yep. So it's a good time to like get back into his world. And he is such a great like storyteller. Yeah. He make those really good connections with people and food and community and place. So, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. I mean, it doesn't, it wasn't like, because it's been enough time, you don't feel mm -hmm. that deep, deep sadness when you're reading it. Um, if it had come out right after he died, I think mm -hmm. it would have been difficult to pick up. So anyway. Awesome. I'm so glad you shared that. Um, <laughs> well, so last but not least, the book I want to mention, I, didn't, I mentioned this book briefly in another episode. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to give it a little more light. Um, I chose the graphic novel Displacement, a travel log by Lucy Nicely. I read another graphic memoir recently and it made me think of this. And I had a couple of YA novels in mind for this episode, but reading another graphic memoir, I was just like really itching to look into getting some more graphic. I don't know why I'm reading graphic novels now, you guys, this is what I do. <laughs> um, and I just wanted more graphic memoirs and I, I want to read some more by this author. Um, she has several books. This book was published in 2015 and she it's graphic novel style and they're watercolors, little illustrations by her. Um, and the book is in 2012, she was taking a break from writing. She had just gone through a breakup and she was taking a bit of a break and she wanted to do some traveling, some reevaluating and thinking and um, pop, on to a cruise for seniors with her with her grandparents who were in their 90s so there she was like on a boat in the middle of the water um and so it has this really cool way of navigating like taking care of her grandparents in their 90s also trying to enjoy travel but then also going down memory lane and really thinking about her grandparents um along with her on the boat she has her grandfather's war journal or war memoir memoir I forget what memory book, I forget what she calls it in the book. And so it's interspersed with like these little photographs of her grandfather, like during wartime when he was there. And it's just a really cool way for her to connect through history. Um, and since she's with her grandparents, she does tell stories and some of them are a little funny or cute, but it's just, and it's not melancholy, it's just, and it's not precious. It's just a really cool look and it makes you really appreciate and think about your own family and those connections. Like it made me miss my grandparents. I was like, I would like to take, and at the time, I, if you would have said, Amanda, you're in your twenties, take your grandparents on a cruise. I would have been like, well, looking back, you know, I think that would have been so cool, you know? Um, so she just has a really great voice. Share. A lot of the stuff she writes involves like um, memory, identity, family, there's usually um, personal information, not personal information, but like memoir bits to it. Um, she's just a really great writer and a really great voice. And I just enjoy her, her work. So Displacement, A Travel Log by Lucy Nisley. Um, any other final thoughts on travel books? Well, it just makes me think of now all of the graphic novels that do have to do with travel which mm -hmm. I had not thought about when I was looking for a book for this episode. There really are so many. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's funny because even if it's a book not, if it's not a nonfiction book, there's always traveling in books. Like a couple of the YA novels I was thinking of are just like teens on a road trip going from point A to point B and the fun that happens along the way. So 
lots of fun things you can do with travel. Um, so that's this week's episode of Bibliophiles here on AADL TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead, show your library some love. Click like, click subscribe down below. There it is. Um, coming up soon on the show, we will be talking about one of the best books that we've ever received as a gift. So lots of fun places we can go with that one. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.